Good morning, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. But Valentine's Day should be every day, don't you think? Unite everybody in love. Just saying. Hannah and I came inside. It was so windy out there. I couldn't keep track of my pages, and it was just too much work. <laughs> and I don't need work. So, got my Morning Jesus bookmark in uh, Morning with Jesus 2022. Trust steadily in God. Hope unswervingly. Love extravagantly. And the best of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. My husband Kevin and I chose Valentine's Day for our wedding day 45 years ago. I was a child bride. The idea of having our anniversary on that date sounded romantic. And it has been. Recently, a worry threatened to curtail our usual anniversary fun. Our daughter Marie is not a fan of Valentine's Day because of her recent unwanted divorce. She was working in a superstore during and after the divorce and scanning bouquets of roses and fancy cars before Valentine's Day added to her misery. So when, and I used to be like that too, but not anymore. To be alive and be on his path is the most fulfilling um, career I've ever chosen, truly. Truly. And I'm so at peace with life. So when she moved to our hometown last year, I wondered if Kev and I would need to tone down the excitement we usually exhibit around February 14th. Should we refrain from telling her about the gifts we had bought for each other and what fancy restaurant we had chosen for dinner? But Marie surprised me. Early in February, she asked what we'd like for our anniversary. When the day came, she excitedly handed each of us a lovely gift bag filled with thoughtful presents. She had set aside her own feelings of loss associated with the holiday so that she could show us love. That reminded me of Jesus how he set aside his glory and majesty to become a man and wash dirty feet, heal unclean lepers, and share meals with the wicked people. He endured the cross, scorning its shame, Hebrews 12, 2, for the joy of making me and all of us a part of his family. Love is more than flowers or words on a fancy card. Love is a verb. Right, Andy? Love is a verb. Jeanette Lavelli. I hope I pronounced that right. So the face step for today is ask Jesus to help you carry out deeds of love. So, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have got a wild monkey this morning. <laughs> It's that crisp, cool air, and she is wound up. Plus, they want breakfast, but I haven't heard one belly growl, and they just had their, they got a Valentine's cookie because I was baking. I got one more round of stuff to bake. I need some supplies because I ran out of a couple things, so once I get my videos done, I got to run to the little market right, right, right here by the house, pick up what I need, and then I'll be back and get the rest of my baking done so I can go out delivering this afternoon. But I gotta wait until my cleaning ladies come this afternoon, and then because I got, I want to give them all a little present, little treats. So, on that note, have a fantastic day. Go in peace. Spread love, not war. Love you. Bye.